Raoul Raphael Labrador, born December 8, 1967, is an American politician serving as the US representative for Idaho's 1st congressional district since 2011. He is a member of the Republican Party. Labrador previously represented District 14B in the Idaho House of Representatives from 2006 to 2010. Labrador opted not to seek another term in Congress to run for governor of Idaho in the 2018 election. He lost the Republican primary to Idaho Lieutenant Governor Brad Little. Topic: Early life, education, and career. Born in Carolina, Puerto Rico, Labrador relocated to Las Vegas, Nevada, as a child and graduated from Las Vegas High School in 1985. He was raised by a single mother who struggled financially. He attended Brigham Young University in Provo, Utah, and spent two years as a Mormon missionary in Chile, from 1987 to 1989. Labrador returned to BYU and received a BA in 1992, in Spanish with an emphasis in Latin American literature. He was admitted to the University of Washington School of Law in Seattle and received his JD in 1995. Married in 1991, Labrador relocated to his wife's home state of Idaho and practiced law and immigration law in private practice from 1995 until his election to the Idaho House of Representatives in 2006. Topic: Idaho House of Representatives. Topic: 2006. Labrador ran for and won the Republican nomination for Idaho House seat B against two other challengers and the general election earning 65.55% against Daniel S. Weston. Topic: 2008 He was unopposed in the May 2008 Republican primary. Labrador defeated Glida Bothwell in the general election getting 69.1% of the vote. 2009. Committee assignments Labrador served on the Environment, Energy, and Technology Committee in 2007 Judiciary, Rules, and Administration Committee from 2007 to 2010 State Affairs Committee from 2007 to 2010 Transportation and Defense Committee from 2009-2010 House of Representatives equals equals Topic Tenure Immigration Labrador was a member of the Gang of Eight a bipartisan group of House members working on immigration reform legislation, but on June 5, 2013, he left the negotiations because he wanted language in the bill requiring that illegal immigrants be responsible for their own health care costs. Labrador said he would use his position on the House Judiciary Committee to pass immigration reform legislation. Healthy voted for the American Health Care Act of 2017, which passed the House May 4, 2017. One of the few Republican lawmakers who hosted a town hall after this vote, Labrador received national attention for stating during the meeting at Lewis Clark State College that, 
nobody dies because they don't have access to health care. The statement caused a huge outcry from the audience present and on social media for several days. Labrador voted in favor of the Pain Capable Unborn Child Protection Act in 2017. Civil Liberties In June 2015, Labrador introduced H.R. 2802, titled the First Amendment Defense Act. FADA, which was said to protect those who oppose same-sex marriage based on their religious beliefs from action by the federal government. Critics, such as Ian Thompson of the American Civil Liberties Union claimed that the bill would open the door to unprecedented taxpayer-funded discrimination against LGBT people, single mothers, and unmarried couples. Town Hall's Labrador was one of the few Republicans to host a town hall after the election of Donald Trump and the only member of United States congressional delegations from Idaho to host one. Tax Reform Labrador voted in favor of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017. He says the bill will allow hard-working Idahoans to keep more of their money including helping them meet their expenses and make crucial investments. Committee assignments Committee on Natural Resources Federal Lands Oversight and Investigations Chair Committee on the Judiciary Subcommittee on Immigration and Border Security Vice Chair Crime, Terrorism, Homeland Security, and Investigations Caucus memberships Liberty Caucus Freedom Caucus Congressional Western Caucus Topic: Political positions. Topic: Domestic issues. Topic: Health care. On April 20, 2017 Labrador said he does not believe health care is a human right. Labrador supports the full repeal of the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act because he believes it will raise costs and kill jobs. Labrador supports requiring the undocumented to be responsible for their own health care costs. Economic issues Elections Labrador has stated that he supports the repeal of the 17th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution which provides for the direct election of members of the U.S. Senate by the voters in each state. Before the amendment was ratified in 1913 senators were selected by the legislatures of their respective states. With regard to this position, Labrador has stated I have a consistent philosophy about government and the importance of states' rights. <laughs> Tax reform Labrador is in favor of tax reform, specifically reform that rids of loopholes, lowers «overall rates» and reduces government spending so the national debt does not increase. <laughs> International issues 
Topic energy and oil Labrador is seen by many in eastern Idaho, which is not in his congressional district, as an opponent of the Idaho National Laboratory INL. Immigration On the July 6, 2014 episode of Meet the Press, Labrador stated that what the Obama administration needed to do was, "...immediately deport," young illegal immigrants. The comment came as part of a discussion about the estimated 52,000 unaccompanied minors from Central America who had tried to cross the border since October 2013. <laughs> Social issues Abortion. <laughs> 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 Labrador opposes late termination of pregnancy and believes, "...life begins at conception," and that the unborn child is still a child, made in the image of God, who will one day have the same hopes and dreams as the rest of us. The fact that life begins at conception might be an uncomfortable truth for some. But it's a truth, all the same. Topic: Family rights. Idaho is one of the states that has faith healing exemption. In a debate, Labrador said he would not change it. Topic: Cannabis. Labrador has a B rating from normal for his voting history regarding cannabis-related causes. Labrador is in favor of veterans having access to medical marijuana if recommended by their Veterans Health Administration doctor and if it is legal for medicinal purposes in their state of residence. He also supports industrial hemp farming. Topic: Elections. 2010. In 2010, Labrador defeated Von Ward in the Republican primary 48% to 39% on May 10, in what was widely considered a major upset. In the general election, Labrador defeated first-term Democratic incumbent Walt Minnick 51% to 41%. 2012 Labrador supported Mitt Romney for president. 2014 on August 14, 2013, Labrador decided not to challenge incumbent Idaho Governor Butch Otter in the Republican primary, instead, running for re election to Congress for a third term. On August 19, 2013, Democratic State Representative Shirley Ringo decided to challenge Labrador instead of running for an eighth term in the Idaho State Legislature. Labrador announced on June 13 that he would challenge House Majority Whip, Rep. Kevin McCarthy for the leadership position. In a vote held June 19, 2014, the House selected McCarthy. Labrador won both the Republican primary and the general election. 2016 Labrador supported Donald Trump in the 2016 election. Labrador won both the Republican primary 81% and the general election 68.2%. Topic: <laughs> 2018 gubernatorial election. On Tuesday, May 9, 2017, Labrador filed to run in the 2018 Idaho governor race. 
Labrador did a kick-off tour in the last week of May 2017 with stops in Boise, Post Falls, and Idaho Falls. Labrador will not be able to run for Idaho's first congressional district and governor at the same time, leaving CD1 an open seat for the 2018 Idaho election. In November 2017 Labrador was endorsed by Senator Ted Cruz for the position of Governor of Idaho. Labrador took second in the Idaho gubernatorial election, 2018 Republican primary to incumbent Lt. Gov. Brad Little taking 32.6%. Labrador lives in Eagle, Idaho, with his wife, Rebecca, and their five children. He is a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. See also List of Hispanic and Latino Americans in the United States Congress